Hey, welcome to Excel Dent Removal. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we remove hail dents from a car when the dent, when the hail dent is under a brace. Now, in particular, I have a, a trunk lid here, and these tend to be heavily reinforced and braced. And typically, when a hail dent uh, hits a panel like this, most of the damage is gonna be under a braced area. There's very limited access on these. Maybe only just a couple of these dents that we have here are actually in the open. And those, those dents tend to be a lot smaller. So what I'm gonna show you is the different tools that I'm using, these different PDR tools that are designed to get inside braces and under braces. And you'll see from underneath here, I'll demonstrate how I'm using those different tools inside there to push the dents up. The, the hail dents on this uh, particular car aren't very severe, but we're gonna Grab the camera here, we'll take a closer look and show you how bad the damage is. All right, so now I've, I've got the trunk lid off the car here. And if we take a look, all these little marks are little hail dings. And when we look at them under our special paintless dent repair lights here for removing hail dents, uh, you can see in there, you can start to see a lot of these dents. You can kind of see some of the dents there along the edges, a couple of bigger dents there. Along this side here, we've got some. Now, this is what the underside of this trunk lid looks like. You can see there are some little openings which help greatly for some of our paintless dent repair tools. And typically, you know, not every trunk lid is exactly the same. Some are reinforced a whole lot more, have a lot more bracing and a lot less access. Some of them are a little bit more open. This is probably, I would say, average. Some of these bigger holes that we have in here uh, help out a lot to get inside underneath all these bracing in here. Now these right here are just the small open spots that we only have a couple of dents in. So I want to show you some of the hail dent removal tools that I actually will be using to repair this. Uh, you can see I've got quite a few different tools. Uh, not just one tool is gonna just pop out all the hail dents. Uh, we've got quite a variety. These are all small, skinny. We've got a tool here, which is what we call a whale tail. This is great for sliding in above the bracing. I do have some other tools here. These are great for getting up inside the opening holes to get a tool inside there to push on the dents. You can see how small and skinny these are, so they're not designed to just push out the bulk of the dent, but only pushing just a small amount at a time. Most of these tools, like I said, there's not just a one tool to push out your hail dents. There's quite a few, quite a few of them. And most of these average probably anywhere from about $30 to $100 per tool. So you're definitely just this little bit here, you're looking at probably uh, a few hundred dollars worth in tools to fix the hail damage. And the other thing I have here is a glue gun and some different uh, glue tabs that I use for pulling out the dents. Now, uh, when we don't have any access whatsoever in a panel and we can't get a tool behind it, glue pulling is the best method that we use for that. Um, it's not the only method. Like I said, we use a variety of the tools. And if you're interested, I do have some other glue pulling videos. Just check the link above or at the end of this video, I'll have a playlist of other glue pulling uh, that you can see and how we use that. All right, now what I'm gonna start with here is that one whale tail tool that I had here. Uh, it's a good tool for getting inside some of these bracing uh, that have the bigger holes. And this tool is designed with a twisting motion. So it has tips on either end and each one of those, when we turn it, we push with either end of this tool. So you're only pushing just a tiny little bit. Uh, and I've got a couple of dents up in this brace area here. I'm gonna start with. And you can see here, I've got the tool going through this one bigger opening down on the end here. And I've got some other dents that are up in this area here right uh, near the opening that I have for this one. So I'm gonna get another tool in here. Uh, I'm gonna try this whale tail again because I do like this tool. And if I can get it to fit, I will tend to use that one. And with this one, you can just tell, I'm just slightly twisting, a little bit of pushing and twisting with this.
All right, so I've got this other hail dent taken out that was under the brace. I'm gonna move over to this other one. And this one appears to be uh, just out in the open. So I'm gonna use some different paintless dent repair tools to access this one and push this one up. Now, if you want to see another video on how hail damage is repaired with paintless dent repair tools that uh, have dents out in the open, uh, click this other video here that'll take you over to watch that one. I've got uh, several hundred thousand views on that one and people have really liked that video. All right, so I've got some dents right along this edge here. I've got a couple here in this area here and another one over here near the edge. So I'm gonna go with the whale tail tool again here. This one works pretty good when I've got really good access and I can apply some leverage with it there. And especially when they get up near this edge here, I need something skinny and small to get inside that area to push the dent up. And so we've got this other opening here. And if I can fit this tool up in that edge, this one's gonna be a little tight again, I think here. I can just get just to the edge of it. So I'm gonna have to get something different. And for instance, something like this, I may have to come from this end here, come all the way over here where the dent is. But first I'll try this, this tool here again, see if this one will work. Just to get up over that, this edge right here. And that looks like it'll do it. Seems to be getting right in there. And then again, like I've said before, just some small little twists and pushing at the same time to get the dents up. Not a real fast process. If you watch any of the other videos on my channel that I have there, a lot of times I'll do a time lapse because most of the repairs can take several hours and, you, and as you can see just working on a few of these dings just a few of these hail dents here on this one it's taken a while and i've only gotten about a third of it done i still have to do the rest finished up with removing the hail dents on this car on the, about this part of the trunk here I still have the other half a little over half to do on pushing out the rest of the dents like I said most of these are under the brace so that's what we were working with here today I do have some other videos on my channel if you're interested in seeing some more of those now if you like this video I encourage you to hit that like button below and if you want to see more information on paintless dent repair, this repair here on removing the hail dents that were under a brace, uh, this is just a small part of what we do. There's dents out in the open, there's dents on the sides of cars, we also do door dings, creases, everything like that. If you would like to see more of these videos when they come out, go ahead and hit subscribe below here. If you uh, check out some of these other videos we have on the side here, I do have the hail damage repair video that I've done here in the past that shows removing hail dents that were out in the open uh, and over here is the glue pulling I've got several videos here that show glue pulling whether they are hail damage or regular door dents thanks again for watching